Hi friends, in this video we will see remaining ATP gene theory questions. What are the sub classifications of ATP G untestable faults? So, here we have a different uh, sub classification of uh, ATP G untestable faults. The first one pin constraints. So, pin constraints means pin may be tied or blocked by input input constraints. Next one cell constraints tied or blocked by cell constraint. Tied cell tied or blocked by cell constraint. Block block boxes false untestable due to block boxes. EDT blocks AU means un, a, ATPG untestable false in EDT block. False path F fault untestable due to false path multi cycle path fault untestable due to multi cycle path sequential depth untestable due to insufficient sequential depth so these are the different sub classifications of uh, atp untestable faults and what is the procedure you will follow for coverage analysis so, they will ask for the procedure you follow for coverage analysis. See here, first one need to check, need to check the non scan cells are there. If any non scan cells, non scan cells are there. So, non scan cells where you will check non scan cell report or D5 violation in descent. Next one check for X sources. In X source, X source violations are there. Next one, get a hierarchical coverage report to see which hierarchy has less coverage, which hierarchy has less coverage. That, that you have to check from the coverage report. Check for ATPG untestable faults which are causing less coverage and debug accordingly. So, check for ATPG untestable faults so which are causing less coverage. So, that, that, that one we have to debug it. So, debug is we need to open the you need to first we need to write the faults, open the fault in visualizer and what for uh, it is causing those things we have need to debug and we need to rectify to improve the coverage. Next one, what are the steps you follow to improve the coverage? Explain the case where you have improved. In any one case, they will ask you to improve. First, Check the fault statistic uh, statistic report. So one report you will get or log you will get. So you have to check the that the log report or statistical report. Find the faults are not in detected. Find the faults are not in detected. So majorly, so we will see the ATP untestable and undetected faults. Next one in a, under ATG, ATP untestable faults. So one example I have taken for wire wire constraints or wire. So six faults are uh, not detecting. So, 0 0.0, 0 0.22 percent is drop and pin constraints 72 faults are not detecting. So, 2.63 percent and sequential depth due to sequential depth the non scan flaps 54 faults are not detecting. So, due to that 1.97 percent is drop and unclassified. So, 37 faults are there due to that 1.35 percent is drop and unsuccess there is uncontrolled and unobserved. So, 7 0 0.28 percent is drop. So, these are the uh, faults, these are the uh, undetected faults, uh, un un ATP untestable faults I have observed. Then, uh, how, how uh, you, have, you have improved? So, so improved, improved, the, is, this is improved, this is a problem. So, this is a problem. So, what is the solution? The solution is this one. Solution is so, first step, step one is write all the pin constraints false in a file list. So, one file you have to prepare. So, is the command write fault file name and class ATP untestable ATP AU dot PC ATPG pin constraint and replace. So, next one sequential depth also here. So, here we have to change we have to write all the fault in one list and select the fault from the file. So, which is which, which is written and Analyze the analyze that fault. So you have to select the fault from the list and you have to analyze analyze for analyze fault. So this is a command analyze fault uh, that is a pin hierarchy 
and stuck at at 0 or 1 i fund d. So, i fund d is to display the fault in visualizer. So, it will display. So, after uh, after displaying the visualizer, next step is so after opening the fault in visualizer, give the data fault, check whether it is necessary pin constraint or not. So, other suppose. Uh, suppose uh, if it is necessary pin constraint, you have to check with the designer. If it is necessary pin, we need to we need to we no need to do anything. If it is uh, not required, if the designer says it's not required, then you uh, uh, in presence of uh, designer, uh, either de designer can rectify or uh, DFT engineer can rectify. It. Okay. Explain one scenario where you increase coverage. So this is a one scenario, real time scenario. They will ask. Get the fall, get the coverage on reset pin by targeting second one as say uh, one that is fixing uh, trying one uh, uh, for this a new flaw in the design with direct reset. So get the coverage on reset pin. So trying with the one or next one is by inserting clock getting by inserting clock getters the enable pin is made one the enable pin is made one to get coverage on d pin of flops d pin of flops this is the one way to increase is you can say you are your scenario also so which coverage is more either d edt mode or bypass mode in idt fault model from log if you observe from log EDT coverage will be 99.50 percent faults are 2603 fault but, but by, bypass 99.48 percent so here coverage is bypass is compared to 0 0.02 percentage less faults also will be less here so here faults are 2026 here 2603 faults see here in reality if you check EDT coverage is slightly less but here if you see if it is 99.5 here 99.48 so you can see your um, bypass coverage is less you, you, you tell but reality according to fault count if you see edt coverage is less compared to bypass since number of faults in the edt is more than the bypass the reason through lfsr and phase shifter logic the tool might not be able to generate the some pattern which uh, which will detect some faults but bypass mode generate those patterns bypass mode it will generate that's because of that in for coverage wise if you see bypass will be more edt but fault wise if you see uh, edt coverage is less than the sorry uh, edt coverage is uh, less than the uh, bypass coverage so this is the one scenario sometimes they will ask in interview next one my design contains more clock getting logic how it is affects ac and dc coverage so more clock gettings is there or how it will affect so in general mode clock getting cells contains two pin enable enable pins one is enable pin and test enable we will work on test enable pin in test mode and test enable is connected to scan enable then the entire clock getting cell will be covered during atpg so so a test enable pin we have to connect to the scan enable then the entire pin will be covered all faults will be covered so i don't think there is any coverage loss in coverage loss during atpg okay next one initially if you have 30 percent fault coverage how we will you how will how you will improve to 99 percent so first first what you have to see first providing the controllability and observability okay controlling the observability check clock reset pin whether we defined properly or not check uh, clock reset pins are whether we defined properly or not check the transition faults increase the sequential depth increase the sequential depth okay and abort limit also we can increase according to the fault count and uh, my atpg coverage is too low so uh, like uh, 18 to 20 percent what is the first thing you will check first 
you need to check scan enable really zero during capture or not so this is the one and my ATPG coverage is 94 percent how will you proceed or target is 99.5 percent how will you proceed target is 99.5 percent get the coverage on reset pin get the coverage on reset pin by targeting SA uh, stuck uh, stuck at one okay um, for this a new flop for this new flop in the uh, design with the with direct reset by inserting clock getters enable pin is made up of made one to get coverage on D pin of flops okay similarly this is the same same uh, type of answer same the question is question little different and uh, uh, same so uh, my, uh, my ATP coverage is 98 percent how will you proceed target is 99.5 percent same same thing you can answer okay next one when you add dummy cycles in ATPG with respect to LOC so where to add dummy cycles load and load and capture procedure uh, timing simulation will fail yes is latency so these are the these are the situations we will add the dummy cycles load and load load and load uh, situation load and load phase we will add the dummy cycles and also suppose uh, uh, scan chain is not balanced tool automatically will add dummy cycles that is also one thing why why shift frequency is low what is the shift frequency you, you use what happen if the shift frequency is too high button thousand megahertz power dissipation so if you use uh, uh, high frequency so uh, high frequencies so chip will get uh, heat and it will maybe damage that's what we will use low frequencies why because so in shifting operation the entire chip will be in on position or operating the entire chip will be active so uh, that's what you should not use high frequencies in shifting so you have to use in low frequency in shifting so here so high frequencies if you use the power dissipation will be more and pad and tester may not support and uh, for higher frequencies and uh, sometimes sometimes ATP is the AT, AT mission uh, tester also have some uh, limitations so, so that we will not use uh, higher frequencies okay so higher frequencies we use shifting process will not happen properly shift we, uh, chip will get uh, heat and it will maybe damage that is the main reason what is the functional frequency or at speed frequency the frequency at which the design is expected to work that is called functional frequency uh, common causes of scan chain blocking how fix it is how 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 to fix it and uh, see here uh, scan chain block uh, blockage is t3 violation in descent and s1 violation in synapses caused due to caused due to uh, some clocks or reset is not declared in atpg tool some clocks clock pins are not clocks are not declared uh, reset is not declared in atpg tool so the time uh, uh, scan chain blockage will happen or programming issue also will be there programming issue and uh, next one common drcs in uh, atpg common drc violations are common drcs in atpg so regularly we will get d1 clock violation d3 reset violation clock mixed with uh, data pin uh, because of that these violations will occur and x propagation etc and c7 c8 uh, clock is going to primary output clock is going to primary output these are the main uh, violations you will uh, one more uh, test proc violations also you will get uh, suppose uh, suppose tra uh, tracing violations also t3 t5 violations also uh, you will get so according to your scenario you can answer this uh, model uh, questions only uh, I level best uh, I have uh, explained i prepared um, if you have any things if you have any queries or anything you can send a mail to champion at 
is ampereelectric at gmail.com. Okay. Thank you, everyone.